What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today, we're here, and, uh, anyway, we are here in Tennessee, at the house, and, as you guys can see, we have the beautiful R33 skyline, and, we have the big, sh I didn't tell you guys this, you guys seen a teaser of this video on this truck. But this is our new truck. Um, I didn't tell you guys also. We sold the third gen. Um, so basically we sold the third gen. I know. We sold that truck. And we got ourselves a nice. Nice. Uh, much nicer. Chevy Silverado. And this is in fact a 2500. And it is a Duramax. So uh, this one is much nicer very very much nicer and it also have a way more power than the other truck had um big giant compound truck that honestly i i don't know but you guys seen the if you guys seen the video I'll, if you guys didn't what the heck you guys are doing because that was a pretty nice video <laughs> anyway there's our new truck our new toy uh and then we got the second gen back now you guys haven't seen the second gen in a while and the reason behind it is because the truck had to get some work done on it but we did change the wheels um which i believe those were like 33s and we changed up the appearance the truck got repainted so, and we went with a chrome grill still got the tow mirrors and this is a, uh, in case you guys are new around here, this is my second gen Dodge Ram. Uh, it is a 2500 and it has the Cummins, 5'9 Cummins with, uh, 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 what is that? A VP44 diesel pump, which some might say it's a trash system, but it's been doing the job pretty well. I'm gonna fire it up, let you guys hear it. So the truck had, we dropped it off to get some work done. Uh, it makes a lot more tur it makes a lot more power and a lot more boost. Um, let's move this, the GTR real quick and then I'm gonna take it out for a drive, but. But here we go. Jesus, I almost took the mirror off on the GTR. <laughs> I think I did actually, hold on. Dang it. Let's see, yep. I kind of took it off, but I think it would just fold right back. I think it's one of them foldable mirrors. So <laughs> all we gotta do is just fold it right back in place. All right, here we go. So, like I say, the truck makes a lot more boost. It's a much powerful truck. And look what my neighbor did. He has his uh, Fox Body Mustang out. Yeah. We got a parking brake on. But yeah, this truck can lay down some 33s down the road, which is pretty sweet, knowing that it's like a freaking full-size truck. But I know you guys want to hear this thing spool up here. Now, I do have an alignment problem. 
Uh, I just literally just slapped these tires on this truck, and uh, as you guys can see, it might it's pulling a little bit to the left. So it's a little hard to do a pull on the truck, but I want you guys also to look at that turbo, that boost gauge. Look at how much PSI this turbo pushes out. Oh, I'm maxing out. Hold on, I gotta turn back around. All right, watch the boost gauge. That's 70 pounds of boost. Yeah, this truck makes 70 pounds of boost. That's crazy. Wow. And we still have to work out the transmission a little bit. You know, um, it's not 100%. But the second gen isn't going anywhere. You know, we're going to keep this truck for a very long time here. Because uh, the build isn't done. I still have so much that I, uh, that I got planned to do. And this thing is just too cool. Speaking of second gens, I still have the drag truck too. Uh... But this, this truck is definitely uh, one of the coolest second gens out there. And the fact that this truck literally makes 70 pounds of boost is crazy. And it, wow, it's just, I just wish we could stick the power to it. Um, the last time I literally dynoed this truck, um, how much, I think we made about, a thousand horsepower is it was either around a thousand to about 1200 but now it makes way more than that but and that's not even like it's not even tuned yet so that's crazy anyway let's hop into the we're gonna take the nice uh chevy because we got a surprise for you guys so let's head over there now And this truck also is no joke. Turn parking brake off would be nice. We have to head over to a shop to where this is where the surprise is at. That turbo is just so loud, man. There's the football stadium. Get on here a little bit. That was close. <laughs> I mean, that was really close, but... Nah... It's so... It's just a smooth truck. In case you're wondering, you know, the truck makes 41 pounds of boost. And it's like just perfect. 
It doesn't make as much boost as the second gen, but it's still enough to get it moving. But it's just a much better truck all around than the third gen was. Like, you could cruise in this thing going about 110 miles an hour all day long. And it feels like you're just doing like 60 miles an hour. I swear, that's what it feels like. It's a nice drive to the shop, so... I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this truck. Because I, I did a montage of it, but I didn't, I didn't talk about it. I did, but the video... I, let's say I forgot to plug in the mic, so you guys, you didn't hear me. I haven't been back here yet. This is an internet, this is a very interesting road. Like, look at this, we're just doing about 100, 150 miles an hour on some back road, and the truck's doing great. It's not even overheating. No problems. Just driving fine. Suspension is very nice. The truck is slightly lifted. Or it has a slight lift kit on it. But nothing crazy. Like, look at it, man. Like, 143 miles an hour... It don't feel like it. It's just smooth. This is the smoothest truck I've ever drove. Like this truck is just humming along. Going 146 miles an hour. By the way, I've never took my foot off the gas pedal. We've been full throttle that whole time. And the engine has not blown up at all. Not a single problem with the engine, transmission, tires. And it's just going down the road literally straight as an arrow. Like you could get sideways with the truck about 140 miles an hour. And literally still be able to correct it and continue and to not once let your foot off the gas. That's that's impressive. I gotta turn around and go back. I kinda passed, I, I passed it by mistake. I didn't mean to go that far. I miscalculated. But, here it is. Not really the driveway, but whatever. Try not to curve the wheels. All right, the truck almost spooled down, but still going. <laughs> it's still spooling down. But anyway, we're here at Oons Auto Repair. Um, by the way, this is not my truck. <laughs> we're not here for this. It's a nice looking one, though. Very nice. I prefer my uh, 2020 uh, Duramax over there, but it does look nice. We're here for this. We're here for the first gen. This is the golden uh, first gen Ram truck. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not golden. Yes, because we got it painted. And the suspension, everything here is done up. We got the suspension done in all the nine yards in the truck here. Um, I did go with a lot much bigger tires. I went with a 10 lug semi truck. Uh, wheels so it has semi truck axles yeah it has semi truck axles in the tr on the truck so it will accommodate for some much bigger wheels uh once when i give me a good set of uh, wheels and tires i will put them on here but this is all i can find here in tennessee was these like these tires which is like your typical tire semi truck combo um 
but overall um i guess the i guess the mechanic played a joke on me because he squatted the truck i told i didn't tell him to squat the truck i mean he again he, i guess he's playing a joke on me here i'm gonna see if i can find him i'm gonna see if we can fix it because i don't want a squatted first gen truck all right so uh, let's see if i can find him so we can get this fixed i'll be back all right so there you go that's much better he did fix it here a little bit he kind of got the back end now a little bit too high um whatever uh we i'll fix it on my own time but here it is look how tall this thing is this thing is so massive this is the tallest truck this is i don't know i think this has to be the tallest truck i now own uh i'm gonna fire it up as that beautiful 12 uh no this is a uh 24 valve that this truck has In case you guys are wondering, what is this truck? Um, basically, I wanted to build something a little bit different. So, the truck is a... Hold on, let me look. I actually kind of forgot what the setup of the truck was. The truck is a supercharged turbo uh, 5.9, 24 valve and it's not stock engine it the engine has been built up it's been beefed up to be able to handle and withstand the abuse that this engine now will produce it pulls good though like i really like how it pulls it's it, it pulls hard and you got consistent and despite of what it is it's a very fast truck It got special brakes on it because this is a lot of weight. <laughs> this is a lot of weight. It's a big truck here. You need a lot of brake power. Here it is, though, ladies and gentlemen, the first gen. If you guys seen the truck from start to finish for like when we first got it, it's a big transformation because it definitely was in pretty rough shape. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture and I'm gonna plop it right there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then just the, like the before and after is different, way different. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I think I just blew a hit gasket because the truck is... <laughs> I think we blew a hit gasket here. Um... <laughs> it was doing good up to this point, but uh, we definitely just blew a hit gasket. And the truck's broke, so there you go. But it's almost done. Almost. It should be done by next week. Hopefully they can get... Hopefully we didn't tear or damage nothing like hardcore or serious. Hopefully it's just maybe, you know, put a new head gasket in it and we'd be good to go. But there you go. The first gen is... I was going to say done, but it's not done because... Yeah. And I think we need another cooling system because I think the radiator isn't that good. So we're going to put a new radiator in the truck. We're going to get a new head gasket. Um, and I'm going to try to see if I can find some new wheels and tires for it. 
because these is not doing it. No way. So we're gonna get some good tires on here, and there it is. The big Dodge will be back up and running, and hopefully we can. We gotta do some. We got, I got some stuff planned that we're gonna do. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.